Caddis Maximus here, this time with another promotional free item. This is a Sigmund uh, Golf Laser Range Finder. I got their uh, three-line green laser level uh, just because it was free, and if you damage or break a laser level, it sucks, so it gave me an extra one. And uh, they also had this Golf Laser Range Finder, and so I've been kind of into these things. This is 80 bucks, which is pretty cheap. These are long distance laser uh, inferometers, laser range finders, just like the ones that are becoming ever so common, even at Harbor Freight. This happens to be a more premium 120 mil, uh, meter version. But these laser measuring tapes, which are pretty accurate, and so uh, the technology for shining a little laser beam and then um, measuring the time. It's actually kind of amazing. I mean, this one's eight, rated for it's the 800Y model, rated for 850 yards, which is just shy of a half mile. It's 2,550 feet. So I thought, uh, I have this one, which will go up to just about 400 feet. And so this is the next step up. Tenth of a yard increments, plus or minus one yard. It can be changed to meters. And interestingly enough about these, since it's kind of designed for golf, or it is designed for golf, but it has... You know, for more average lay people, it would be foresters and that type of stuff. Maybe some surveyors might use some equipment like this, not for precision, but for uh, getting close to where you need to be. Maybe if you're trying to find a survey marker, then this can find precise, you know, within a, a yard of distances. Primarily for golf, it's to see how far away you are from the hole. And since it has a tilt sensor, it can compensate it has two it has a mode where it can just give you the rise where it can tell you uh, it automatically does trigonometry right angle triangle trigonometry so it has a slope sensor so it can see that you're tilted up three degrees and that you're 300 yards out and so you're going to have a certain amount of rise and then it will actually give you a second number which is the golf um, arc angle so this thing knows how far it is in a linear distance it knows how much rise how much uphill you have to go and then it'll calculate the total distance a golf ball will actually have to arc to get there and will give you that third number as well first for a product that had two buttons i thought it was a bit intimidating to have a manual with this many pages but it's in like 10 languages there's only a few pages uh, about it it has this mode they call it a golf flag mode because of course it's a flag sticking out in the air in an open area uh, on the putting green so it has this mode where as you're scanning you can set it and it'll give you a little flag icon and then it'll start doing measurements and then when you get the shortest measurement because of course you'll be pointing it at the flag but the flag may be kind of hard for it to specifically pick up especially if it's windy so it'll just give you measurements and then until it finds the closest one and since you're just pointing at the flag that will be the correct measurement rather than the trees behind it or people behind it or anything like that so that's kind of a neat mode where it automatically uh, essentially counts down to the closest measurement you can get off of whatever you're um, pointing at. My goodness, I'm trying to sound intelligent. Icons for straight line mode, for arc mode. And it also had this function, which I thought was kind of interesting. Obstensively, I mean, it's a speed function, speed measurement mode. And there's some confusion about speed measurement mode because, well, the speed measurement mode seems a little confusing because if you're tracking an object that's coming across from you or, a, a, you know, perpendicular to your vision, you're going to be following it like this and it would need to have, um, we know it has an accelerometer because it can already tell, tell the angle, but it would need a gyroscope to be able to tell how fast you're sweeping. If you're holding it still, like you know a police officer doing a speed trap then it's just measuring the rate of change it just took a measurement now it's taking another measurement now it's taking another measurement how fast do those measurements change and then give it to you uh, in a speed and, and it, it has two modes either kilometers an hour or kilo yards an hour which is a very oddball measurement and I suspect the kilo yards is an hour is just because everything else is in yards because it's a golfing tool 
I had to find this. It says that its speed measuring range is up to 300 kilometers an hour. It's about 190 miles an hour. So the idea of that mode is literally that you're going to have be standing there next to somebody who's swinging. When they hit that ball, just like on the golf shows, uh, the magical cameraman on those golf shows, that you're going to pick up the ball with this while hold, you know holding the the uh, measurement button and keeping that golf ball in view so you can see how fast it's going through the air is the reason I believe it has a speed measurement mode but it's kind of interesting and if they actually have like little YouTube video commercial for this and they show it like a hunter using it to show how fast an elk is running across the field that's something I'm going to have to fiddle with, but it's kind of interesting that not only is this a very long distance laser rangefinder, it has a angle in it, so it can do triangulation, and the golf slope is just a quick access feature if you wanted to do that, uh, the overall distance that the ball is going to have to travel for the linear distance that it's measuring. But other than that, that's all it is. It's just a not as accurate but very long distance version of one of these things. Comes in a pretty heavy duty case, decent zipper, and uh, I suspect people are gonna be pulling it in and out a bunch, so what they do is instead of having to unzip it and zip it all the time, you can just take this elastic strap and it kinda hooks on like that, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's rechargeable, and they are a little bit more modern there's your charging light it is USB-C uh, so that's good you know lightweight little item I just think it's once again interesting that it can triangulate and do heights so you can you know if you're into forestry or just being out in the woods you can use this to measure heights of trees not a very long, tall hill you'll be able to measure the height of since it only has a 2500 foot range we have whatever this is. I guess this is a magnetic holder to stick to your golf cart. Strong magnets in there. I may actually have a use for that. And of course the obligatory lanyard, which I do recommend so you don't drop these things. And just a basic USB-C cable. And of course a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lenses. But as far as cheap and for what it does, I mean I guess it would be nicer Premium versions of these tools now go up to a mile or several miles. Um, uh, I should say, big drawbacks. There is no illumination of the reticule inside or anything. So, if obviously if it's getting towards dusk or something, you're not going to be golfing anyway. But nonetheless, you won't see the reticule um, dark conditions, and it may be difficult to see on a very you know overcast day too especially if it's a darker background. People, uh, not just with this segment, but with all sorts of laser range finders, is since it actually is sending a, in this case, a little red pulse of light, it actually sends it out through the same lens that you're looking through, which does have a focus. And then this lower one is that the receiver, it's sending the light out, and then it's actually looking for the distinctive flashing. So if you're actually scanning black surfaces like this, which are highly absorbed, absorbing over you know hundreds of yards it can't see the little dot if you're just shooting into a bunch of leaves and trees they may disperse the little dot and, and it won't be able to see and and pick up the measurement and so that's the deal with them is you've if you ever have issues where you're trying to regularly measure a particular distance you know something optimal will be like a white piece of paper or pretty reflective where the machine can see the dot a lot of times it's just fine but you just have to be aware that if it's giving you funky measurements it's probably because it can't see the dot and the point at something that's you know a good object the side of a building or something like that and see if it's behaving there then you know it's just it can't see the dot that you're looking at so other than that I think it's pretty cool that it does all these things long distance pretty accurate measurements. I mean, I checked it against this, and it's easily within a half a yard, if not uh, a lot closer than that. Long distances, speed measurement, built-in triangulation. It's actually 
kind of a neat, handy little unit that these kind of electronics that they have these days. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching. See you next time.